Now let's think about creating a function that draws a shape into an image. Here's our signature and purpose. You can see that the signature refers back to our shape data definition. With our signature purpose and header in place, we can begin writing some examples. Here are three examples for draw shape. They make use of the circle and rectangle functions to show how to draw a shape on the screen. Now let's reuse our template that we wrote in the previous video to fill in the draw shape function. Our template gives us lots of information that we can use to fill in the function definition. Now that we have our examples, we see that we're going to need to use the circle function in the disk case and the rectangle function in the box case. We're also going to need to use the string solid, the disk color, and the string black. Let's fill that in following the template. Now we've finished filling in the definition of our function. The template was extremely helpful. It wrote almost the whole function. All we needed to do to complete the function was use the circle and rectangle functions that we knew we needed to use by looking at our examples. Now let's run our program and see if our tests pass. Now let's write another function that uses draw shape to draw a shape on a background. Here's the signature, purpose, and header for draw shape BG, which draws the given shape on a background. Here are two examples for draw shape BG, making use of the constant background that I've also defined. Now we can use draw shape, which we defined before, to complete draw shape BG. We'll reference our examples to make that happen. Here I've copied in one of our examples. It's placing an image at coordinate 200, 200 on a background. The only thing that's as long as we're always using the rectangle instead of using S. But if we want an image representing the shape S, we can simply use draw shape. With that, we're done and all our examples will work.